This might surprise you, but uploading a shoddy YouTube video once every three to four months and making 79p in ad revenue isn't actually my full-time job. For the last 10 years or so, I've made my living writing for different magazines, websites, and brands. And then a few months ago, I was asked to become the editor of quite a new men's magazine called Man. It covers sport, health and fitness, tech, cars, fashion, music, all the normal kind of stuff, but it's also got a kind of hidden purpose, which is to try and improve the situation around male mental health, which some of you may know is a subject that I feel really passionate about. So we work with Mind, Times Change and Calm, who are three of the biggest mental health charities, um, to offer kind of useful advice. And we also feature different celebrities kind of opening up about their experiences around mental health. We also had a feature in the most recent issue with Gamble Aware because gambling addiction is another issue that I think is really important. Basically, as well as kind of trying to entertain people, the magazine is sort of trying to end the stigma around mental health, encourage people to open up and talk more, um, which means that people are more likely to get the help that they need. You know, even if we can only make a tiny difference, then it's a worthwhile cause. But yeah, I could do with your help in two ways. So firstly, it'd be great if you could check out the magazine. Um, so you can read it for free online. I'll put a link down below. Um, or there's also uh, like hard copies, which are also free. You can get them in places like American Golf, Sports Direct, Pure Gym, um, and loads of other places. But yeah, feel free to check it out. It'd be great if you could kind of share it with anybody else that you think might be interested in it. Um, obviously it'd be good if you could follow the social media channels and that kind of stuff. But I would also really love to hear your thoughts on the kind of things that would make you want to read a magazine for men. So every magazine I've worked out in the past, we've had a big team of writers, loads of different people contributing ideas. Um, but at this place, we've got a designer and a publisher. But other than that, it's basically just me. And even for me, it's not a full-time job. There's only enough budget for me to spend about 10 or 12 days on it per issue. Some other magazines very kindly help out with some content. So 442 provides some football features, Today's Golfer give us some golf stuff, men's health, some fitness content and so on. But ultimately it comes down to me what goes in the mag, which is great, but I figured it'd be a lot better to have a bit more of a kind of forum. And I know that 90% of the people that watch my videos are men. So to have some input from you guys rather than just me on my own deciding what should be in the Mac. So yeah, please pop a comment down below if you've got any feedback on the most recent issue or any ideas for things that you'd like to see in the next one. Um, you can also email me if you've got anything that you'd rather share privately. Um, I can't promise that I'll reply to every email. It depends on how many there are, but I'll do my best. And yeah, that's it really. Just a super quick video, um, which probably makes quite a nice change from me waffling on for ages and not really making much sense. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying the Euros. Um, I'll be making some more videos soon because yeah, I need that 79p of sweet, sweet ad revenue. Um, yeah, if you've made it this far, put a comment down below saying, give me 79p and I'll pick somebody out and give them 79p. Um, well, I don't know why you'd want 79p or I'll buy you something up to the value of 79p. Um, why? Mr. Beast gives out like a million dollars in pretty much every video and I'm offering you a prize worth up to 79p. Um, but yeah, that's not even the price of a first class stamp. On another note, does anyone realise how expensive stamps are these days? I had to buy some last week and I couldn't believe how much first class stamps are. Um, yeah, I might stop investing in cryptocurrency and just start stockpiling stamps. That's not going to work, is it? Anyway, see you in the future.